What is going on guys? Crimson here bringing you guys a brand new video today. What you guys are going to see is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do an easy but yet really appealing thumbnail. Um, right, Let me go ahead and delete this. This was for the thing I did yesterday. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to teach you guys how to do this thumbnail. It looks really appealing and easy to do. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Let's go ahead. So first thing you guys want to do is when you guys are going to go. Blah. Damn, I just butchered that. You guys are going to go on and go to file, click new, and change your width. If it is as if it is as at at this, change your width to 1280 by 720. Once you guys have done that, you guys should see a white screen. You guys are all good to go. If you guys have a little uh, lock on it, double click it. Everything's Gucci. Once you guys have done that, you guys want to want to gonna are gonna want to come all the way uh, right here um, where this little circle is at and go all the way up to where it says solid color. You guys are gonna want to change this to something not too dark like that because that just looks really ugly in my opinion. I always like leaving it not too light, not too dark, something like that. Perfect. So um, we're gonna leave it like that and. Another thing is you guys are going to want to go on Google and search up uh, anything you guys want like um uh um you know like um any photo for whatever it may be if you're doing Black Ops you want to find a photo like this if you're doing Overwatch you know find an Overwatch photo whatever appeals you you're going to want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and put it into this. Make sure that your image is bigger or as long as it's bigger you're good. If it's smaller you are fucked try finding a bigger image because if it is smaller you are gonna have to stretch it out and it'll look really ugly but if it's big all you gotta do is just really size it and nothing will change you are gucci so we're gonna go ahead and click back to fit screen once you guys have done that you guys are gonna see this now some people l like to do this where they just go um let's say best trick shot right now what is the problem with this you ask looks pretty decent you know, you could just put a drop overlay, but actually that doesn't look that bad. Oh wow. Okay, all right. That 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 looks pretty 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 nifty. Um, but the reason, let's say you would put it here, right? The thing is, when you're looking at it from a phone, this right here, this little section is too light, and you won't be able to see the text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that. We're gonna go over here to this image. And we're gonna click where it says new layer you're gonna click that and you're gonna want to change your two colors here it doesn't matter which one it is and you are want to put black click OK come over here to this print to this bucket now this sometimes it may be blocked and you might be saying where well, what is it at just right click and paint bucket tool once you guys have done that you guys are gonna make sure you guys have the layer you just created um, highlighted because if you do this it'll just create this and it'll just look really nasty if it will I did that wrong. Uh, it'll just look like that. And, you know, hold on. That was the correct thing to do. But if it was like this, you know, it would just look horrible if you did that. So don't do that. We're going to go ahead and back, back, and make sure you have the layer that you just added highlighted. So layer one, we're going to go ahead and call this, okay, black. Okay. So you're going to want to have your black layer highlighted and just click it now that may look the same but here's the thing you really didn't touch this layer all you did was just add another layer on top of this which is black and you're gonna want to come over to opacity and put it at I would say like a 72 70 right there perfect once you guys have done that you guys are gonna want to come over to filter blur and Gaussian blur I don't know how to fucking pronounce that Gaussian blur and click OK once you guys have done that, uh, make sure, oops, wow, um, okay, make sure um, you have the right layer highlighted, which would be this one, um, and you're going to want to put it at, like, yeah, let's leave it like that. Now, what this did is, see, now the text is more visible, and you can still see what the background is. You, you can obviously tell there's a site, you know, you can read this. Um, you well you can't read it but you can you know that it's black ops so so let's put um, let's put uh, um, I don't know let, let's put for example quad feed with 
um, locus, right? We're gonna go ahead and put that and just center it. Now, one technique I, I like to use is if you guys can't center it, you know, just by looking at it, it's totally fine. Just click the bottom layer and make sure show transform controls is on. Click X or yeah, click it and these little anchor points will show. All you guys have to do is just drag from left to right, put it in the middle and from bottom center. That is your center of this image. So once you've done that, get your uh, text, make sure you have show transform controls on and just center this little point with this line. For that, for me, that would just be moving it and you're good. Now, if you guys don't have these lines, it's all good. All you guys have to do is if you guys are on a PC, just hit Control R. As you guys can see, it disappeared. Just hit Control R again and they will appear. Not too much of a big problem. So, if you guys want to get rid of them, click View, Clear Guidelines. You guys are all good. So, you guys can go ahead and do that. But what I like doing for my uh, thin thin text, I would usually leave that as my subtitle. So, we're going to go ahead and make um, the main title. Uh, the font I'm using is called Unisans. You guys can go ahead and look that up and just download it. Pretty simple. We're going to put... Um, Let's say first, first for uh, red, whatever. You guys don't know what that that is. It's a sniping team. And if your words are separated like this, easily just come over here to where to the characters and make sure your V eight is um to zero. That'll just put them back together. And then that is too small, so we're just gonna go ahead and change it from thirty six to seventy two, and just put that here. Once again, we're gonna help go ahead and do the little thing to know where our center is. You guys don't have to do these lines, but I prefer doing them just to get a better perspective. All you really can do is just put this one and you would know where it's at. So put it right there. View clear guidelines, that looks about right. Now to make this word pop out, just double click it and drop shadow. And you can see that little shadow that dropped underneath it and it looks amazing. So this, is a basic easy thumbnail you guys can do now you guys can go ahead and add other stuff to this i'll get into the more complex thumbnails later on but this is for the meantime and these are the ones that i absolutely love i always like designs that are simple because they just i don't know they just show more potential than ones that put way too much over editing on it and then usually um i still do this which i don't know why but you could just come over here to your pen tool click pen tool tap over here you know outside of the box make sure it is not inside or you will fuck up and just keep going out and then once you've seen this right click and make selection click OK and if you guys see these little ants running you guys are good now create a new layer and go over here to your bucket tool make sure that the white is collected hit on it and it should make a little line once you guys have done that to get rid of these little ants just hit control D and they will disappear like again, we're going to add a little shadow to it. Won't show up too much, but it's there, like I said. And basically, if you guys have like a logo, like let's say you guys have, I don't know, let's say for me, it would be Crimson, like a K like that. Um, hold on, let's go ahead and change that to a black font. Let's say it was a K. You guys can just go ahead and move it over here, and they know that this design was done by you. So sort of a little watermark thing and if you know other people seem to stumble across it they'll know that it's from you you know um, I don't put them anymore because I kind of find it useless but um, yeah so that is basically it for the design guys I hope you guys did enjoy this if you guys did don't forget to smash that like button share this with your friends um, you know if you guys don't want to pay for graphic designs you guys have this right here you know easy thumbnails you guys can do it'll get the attention of your fans and all that stuff but that's been it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios. I just wanted